Hi guys, uh, update for my e-foil setup. Uh, so the waterproof battery, it definitely waterproof. It's completely merged in the water without any problem. I can still ride normally. Um, but the thing is, uh, <laughs> uh, I cannot really planning when this uh, motor mount, um, when this uh, battery mount under the water. Uh, cause uh, even even I made a little curve here, so even I made a little curve here, you know that's that's the board, right? That's the board. So that's a little curve to reduce that drag. But still, I mean the battery is pretty big, and uh, it's it's just too much drag. It's just too much drag. You, you cannot really, <laughs> you can feel it's really hard to drive. The motor is really hard to just, you know, keep going forward <laughs> because the battery under the water to, uh, you know, get that much drag. Uh, the thing interesting is, uh, uh, you know, there's a company uh, made a similar product like I did. Uh, it's called uh, Foil Drive. Uh, I, uh, I just check out on their website. So they have the same idea, put the, you know, battery under the board, you know, under the water and just use a little motor to drive it up. But for their product, it's just an assistant. They're using a very tiny motor. You can, you can see the motor right here. You know, that's my hand. That's my hand compared to the motor, right? You can check on their picture. That's, that's, they're using a really a tiny motor there and the tiny battery as well and they 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 build the battery with a v shape so you know like a, the the bottom of the boat v shape so that way uh you know reduce that drag um uh, but still i mean for five thousand dollars why you just uh, buy uh, something just for the assistant not really <laughs> not a really electric foil motor it's just for the res assistant so the my setup the, can can give you an hour drive on the water no problem that's a big battery compared there that's they're just using a tiny small battery <laughs> you know uh interesting so if i really want to put a motor under the water the first thing i have to you know, build a motor case like a V shape, you know. <laughs> but with the 3D printing, that's not not big deal. I mean, definitely not a big deal. I can, you know, put the the way the battery in there. Definitely not a big deal. But uh, for me, I kind of, uh, you know, because I I try to make things really uh, affordable for everybody. Think about that. My motor system, the complete motor system with straddle, everything there, is only uh, seven hundred. And you know, they they sell something just for assistant for five thousand. So that's a crazy, definitely crazy. So uh, for me, I'm kind of uh, wondering: Do I really need to build the things under the water for the battery? Since you gotta put a bigger battery, you know, for the longer drive, uh, I, I think I probably just leave the battery above the board. It's it's much easier, you know. It's definitely much easier. So with a battery under on the board, I mean, you can use a regular battery. You don't have to buy this, uh, you know, leasing battery. This is so expensive, <laughs> you know. That's so expensive. Even I build by myself. I mean, just buying the battery cell, everything is just very expensive. So, for my motor, because that, that's why I, I, I use a 24 volt system. You know, make make things uh, easier for everybody. You can simply just uh, you know link to a car battery because the battery car battery is 12 volt. You just link two car battery, you can drive this motor on the water. So that's so simple. I mean, as long as you can, you know, mount the <laughs> car battery on your board, you're good to go. <laughs> so that make uh, everything just, uh, you know, affordable for everybody. 
I I I cannot. Uh, I I don't really know how how the electric foil board can sell uh, you know over ten thousand dollars. <laughs> That's so crazy. I mean, you know, I put this way the battery this way because I want the battery more flat. You know, not 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 the bigger uh, thicker uh, battery pack. But uh, since uh, I don't really need to put this under the water, I mean, you can very easily to build a regular, you know, battery pack because uh, the battery just, uh, you know, put together. It's very easy to uh, spuddy solder there to make uh, like a big block, like, a, you know, electric uh, bicycle battery, you know, it's just like a big block. So, um, yeah, that's that's much easier much easier as long as you can put the battery on on the board secure it on the board that definitely is good yeah 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 that's kind of my app uh, update so um i changed my mind i don't want to put battery under the water under the board you know <laughs> uh i'm not really good on that uh, uh foil right now but uh, i still can you know write a little bit and i will keep writing on that and uh, getting better with it um, so this motor this is a you know uh, very uh, popular e-foil motor that's uh 65 161 uh, a lot of people build a build build the e-foil with this motor it can, it's a pretty big motor, it's pretty heavy, I mean. Um, this motor actually, for me, I just feel uh, just enough. Not, not really a big power, you know, not really big power, I feel. It's just kind of enough power. Maybe it's just my skill, maybe, uh, yeah, probably just my skill. So, but... Uh, as long as you have a you know bigger uh, foil vein, it should be okay. It should be okay. Um, yeah, that's the setup. But I have a you know dual motor setup. If you put a dual of this motor, I mean <laughs> that's I definitely have enough power to drive any kind of uh, you know foil you have. So that's the motor I use for the for my dual motor system. Put two, uh, two motor, you know, by the sides on the on the on your uh, mast. Actually, this motor you can see from my hand what I'm holding here. The size, I think that's probably exactly the size with uh, you know uh, for your drive. They're 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 probably just use that motor like this size. I mean, um, yeah, they definitely just for the assistant definitely <laughs> won't push you about water and keep you going there that in that way, because that's a uh, pretty small. I mean, that's why I use two of this motor to drive up instead of just one. I mean, for just one, no way, no way to uh, drive you up above the water with this uh, tiny little motor. Yeah, you need another uh, <laughs> push like a wave like a wind so that's why they uh you know the, the, the foil drive the company use the motor just for assistance not really for to uh, drive you up uh, yeah that's uh that's the motor i use for the dual system um, the dual system had a little bit more power than this uh you know single motor but uh, similar similar uh, yeah, still a little bit more power with the dual system. But uh, if you really have a smaller uh, wing and smaller bore, you really, you know, want to uh, use the electric foil. Uh, you know, I, I can I can build a dual system with this motor. I mean, for me, it's so easy. I just, uh, I have, uh, you know, the setup already. I just uh, mount them directly on. And um, so definitely with two of this motor, you definitely can push you up with any kind of board, any kind of wind you have. Um, but still, there, there, there's a challenge. I mean, if if I put a dual system with these motors, um, 
I mean, the connector, definitely this connector. Oh, I can put two connectors. Yeah, yeah. Put two wires connect to the battery. Because my battery has enough current, but uh, just the wire is not enough current to drive two motors. Because this motor usually, uh, I figure it's uh, required roughly uh, 100 amp little bit more than 100 amp. I will say a little bit more than the 100 amp. And this uh, this motor, this is a very small motor. This uh, can only use like a, a 60 amp, maybe 70 amp. Probably, yeah, around 60 amp. Yeah, that's the motor. I mean, with the full throttle. Uh, so that's why I, I use a dual motor system I can still use my uh, battery system without any problem I don't feel any uh, you know uh, the, the leaking of the power when I push the full throttle because um, sometimes if your uh, battery don't have enough current you push the full throttle you you know it's like a stall it's like a, your, mo your your board is suddenly your motor is just suddenly stalled so in that in that situation more likely the battery did not provide enough current to fill up the motor i mean the, in a second to fill up the motor and i don't feel anything uh, with my uh, battery set up so the definitely because the battery like another day I, I counted so the the battery in series can provide a 480 amp in continual current, continual amp, 480. So, but I don't have that, <laughs> that big wire to, you know, put 480 amp there. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's the idea you're gonna think about. So uh, my setup is uh, really affordable for everybody. Like I said, the, the motor system, the completely motor system with throttle, uh, ESC, I mean the speed controller, Everything is there. It's only uh, 700, and uh, whatever the battery you have, you can just put the battery above the board and you know drive there. Uh, those are super super affordable for everybody. Um, not like uh, some big company, you know, sell you something, you know, the the, the electric foil board over uh, ten thousand dollar. Another company sell you some uh, motor assistant for five thousand dollars. I'm not doing those stuff. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those are you know a little bit is just for fun for me. I mean, and uh, I make uh, things uh, you know easier for everybody. Yeah, that's the idea. Okay, that's uh, today's update, and uh, I just want you know. My uh, waterproof battery, it definitely waterproof, but uh, it definitely cannot really put under the board. <laughs> it's just too much drag. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. See you next time.